Hey everybody and welcome to my kitchen. I'm excited today to be able to show you my recipe for pie dough. Who doesn't love a warm, flaky, buttery crust? Let's get started and I'll show you how. First, we're gonna start out with 10 ounces of flour, and we're going to put in one teaspoon of salt. I like to use the kosher salt so that when you take a bite, you get a little bit of that salty with the sweet. So we'll go ahead and put in our salt. And now we're going to take a really cold butter right from the fridge. We have about six and a half ounces. We're going to put that into our flour. Now with this type of pie dough, because we're going to be doing a fruit pie, we want our butter to be about the size of cornmeal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the butter in between our fingers and we're just going to break it up and rub it between the flour. But we have to work quickly because we don't want our butter to warm up. All right, now that we have our pie dough to the consistency of about cornmeal, and we have here about two and a half ounces of really cold water, I like to add ice cubes to my water just to make sure that it stays really cold. But we're just gonna add a little bit at a time. So go ahead and just, I like to scoop it up into the center, and I just kind of work it. And then when I feel like that water was absorbed, I'll add in a little bit more and just kind of work it until it kind of comes together. We're just kind of pushing it together and turning until it starts to form a ball. Once we can start kind of collecting it into a ball, we will then quickly move it into our counter and then we will, we don't want to overwork this dough because we want to keep it tender but we're going to knead it just a slight bit. Like I said, we don't want to overwork it. We don't want the butter to start melting because of our warm hands. And there we have it. It's basically our pie dough. It's gonna be ready. All right, now that we have our pie dough all put together, we're gonna weigh this out on our scale so that we have the right amounts for the bottom and the top. We don't wanna to have too much on one and not enough on the other. So we're making about a nine inch pie. So what we're going to do is this weighs about 20 ounces. We need eight ounces for the bottom and about six ounces for the top. But because I'm going to be doing a lattice on the top, I like to have a little bit more on the top. So that's okay that I made a little bit more. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this and then we'll go ahead and just throw this here on our scale and make sure that we have perfect, eight ounces. So now I'll take this and I'm going to wrap it up in some plastic wrap and then we can put this in the fridge and then I like to just make sure it's all tight, wrap it up into a disc and if you're making multiple pies, you'll forget if this was a top or a bottom. So sometimes I'll take a, a Sharpie and just write bottom and then I'll never forget that this is a bottom piece. For us, since we're gonna make a pie, I'm gonna put these in the fridge. We need to let the dough rest between one and two hours. So I'll go ahead and toss these in the fridge. I am so excited to be able to show you my favorite apple pie recipe. This is the perfect dessert to be able to take to your family party. All right, so we're gonna take our favorite apple and we're gonna go ahead and just slice the apple. And then I just go through and then I cut out the core. Then I like to take my apple and now take a paring knife and then I just peel off the skin. Just pull it right under there and just pull it right towards you. Then I take the apple and then I cut this into thirds. So I cut them into thirds. Then I place it into a bowl of water. You can either have your water filled with salt water, lemon juice, or even a big bowl of Sprite. Whatever you want, but it just helps prevent our apples from turning brown. 
So we are going to add one ounce of butter to our pan and let that melt. And then we're going to take our apples that have been soaking in water and we've drained our apples. I peeled about three pounds of apples. And once this butter is melted, we'll go ahead and toss in our apples. All right, we're just gonna let our apples cook in this butter just until slightly softened. We're going to take about three ounces of sugar and we're going to just pour that over the apples. And what this is going to do is it's going to help draw the juice out of our apples. All right, here we have two ounces of water and we're going to add some cornstarch to our water. We're gonna give that a good stir. This is now called a slurry. And we're going to take this slurry now that we've mixed it together and we are going to dump it into our apples. Now we're going to add three and a half ounces of sugar into our apples, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of lemon juice. We're going to take it off the heat. We turned off our heat. Now we're going to mix this together. Doesn't that just look delicious? Now to finish this off, just a little bit of butter. Now we're gonna let that melt. That butter's just gonna tie it all together with a little extra flavor and creaminess. Plus, who doesn't love butter? All right, once your butter has melted and you've mixed this all together, we're going to take it off the stove. We're gonna let this cool down completely before we stick it in to our pie crust. Otherwise, our pie crust will get soggy. All right, we've taken our pie dough out of the fridge. I've let them sit out for about five minutes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our bottom piece, we're going to unwrap it, and then we're gonna roll it out. We're just gonna keep staying right in the center and turning every time, just a quarter turn. I like to judge it by taking my pan that I'm going to stick my pie in and I stick it down and I want it to come out about a, an inch all the way around. So as you can see, I still need it to come out just a little bit. Perfect, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our rolling pin and I like to stick it in about the middle of the dough. Then I peel up on one side and I wrap it up over my pin and then I just slowly pick it up, make sure it's not sticking. Then I'll bring my pan over and then we just roll it back down. And then at this point, because it's not down, I like to lift up my dough and slowly just place it in. We're gonna scoot it over and get it more centered. All right, and if you have a side that doesn't have quite as much, you can come over here and peel off some of the extra and you can add to and just go through and just trim it, just like you're giving it a haircut. All right, and to our pie dough, we are going to take our chilled apple filling and we're going to add it to the pie dough. Now remember, you do not want to add hot filling because it will make your pie soggy. All right, now that we've unwrapped our top layer, we're gonna place it on the counter with a little bit of flour. We're gonna go ahead and roll this one out very similar to how we did the first one, just a little bit at a time, making sure it doesn't stick and keeping it round. All right, at this point, once the dough has been rolled out, we can either pick it up at this point and put it on the pie and have it just be a full covered pie. Make sure you poke air holes if you do that. But I like to do the lattice top because I think it makes it look like you just put a little bit more effort and it just makes the pie look a little bit more done. So what I like to do is I take a pizza cutter and I just come in and I just, as straight as you can, I try and go up and make the same thickness of strips all the way up. And 
and then we place it right on the center of our pie. Then we take the next biggest one and we stick it the opposite way. You can choose to do thicker strips or thinner strips, however you want to do it. All right, now we're going to take our shears again and go around and trim the edge. Take the edges and we just fold them up over onto themselves. There's many different ways you can crimp off the edge and make it look pretty, but my favorite way is just taking my thumb and finger and just pushing up and then moving over, pushing up, turning, just sticking my finger right in the crevice. Next, we're gonna take an egg and we're gonna make an egg wash to go on top of our pie. We only want the egg yolk, so we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and we're just going to take the yolk. All right, we will give our yolk a good stir now you don't want too much because you don't want it to be eggy. We're just giving it a nice sheen. So once you dip your brush into the egg yolk, make sure you scrape it off onto the side so we just barely get enough to coat it. Now we also wanna just try and make sure we stay only on the, the pastry, not getting inside so we don't make a, like a scrambled egg in our pie. All right, now once we've got the whole pie covered in our egg wash, we're gonna throw it into the oven, but sometimes I like to put it on a cookie sheet that's lined with aluminum foil just in case my pie spills over, then I don't have to clean up my oven. All right, so my pie has been cooking for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it out of the oven and I'm gonna put a little bit of aluminum foil wrapped all the way around the edges because as you can see, my crust is getting a little bit done, but I want my inside to be a little bit more brown. This will help the edges from burning. All right, now we're gonna throw this back in the oven for maybe between three and five minutes, and then we'll check it from there. Okay guys, we just pulled our pie out of the oven. I took off the aluminum foil and it's looking beautiful. I've let it sit for a couple minutes so it's not so hot, because we're gonna slice this up and serve it with some vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, I wish you guys could just smell this pie. It smells delicious. Our favorite vanilla bean ice cream. Eat this quickly. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment on a pie that you would like me to make or your favorite pie. And if you wanna see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. It's really good. Still warm. Mm. No words right now. Just enjoying. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, <laughs> but it's really good. I'm gonna sit here and just keep eating because I know you're still watching. <laughs> Cause you just wish that you had this apple pie to eat. Mm. Plus vanilla bean, can you go wrong with vanilla bean?